everybody and welcome to World Peace Day and to celebrate we are going to be making some tie-dye masks because well we kind of have to wear masks everywhere right now so what better way of spreading peace than without even having to say anything so you're going to need um, a tie-dye kit is what we picked up or however you do your tie-dye some plain white masks like so um, we also got some fabric paint or puffy paint so that you can do some designs on there. Um, your kit will come with some rubber bands and some gloves, but if you don't have a kit and you just picked up like loose bottles of the tie-dye, um, you might wanna have rubber bands and gloves, okay? Otherwise you're gonna have very colorful hands and you can't tie-dye without rubber bands. Okay, also you're gonna need some water and a container of some kind. All right, so let's get mixing. Alrighty, so the first step of making tie-dye is we are going to have to add water to these bottles. And helping me with this project is my daughter, Caitlin, because she does a lot of tie-dye. She makes a lot of tie-dye shirts and stuff, and I think she's even done some tie-dye masks. Okay. So, uh, on these bottles, it has a lovely little black line. You just fill the water up to that black line. And do we use hot or cold? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Turn on your water gently so it doesn't go shout. So, Caitlin, begin. I have never done the tie-dye process, so I'm learning with you all. So she's filling it up to the black line and she stopped and then she's gonna put the lid on there. You wanna make sure it's on nice and tight. Very important. Her. And then you're going to hold a little cap on top and you're going to shake it. And do you shake until all the powder is yep. mixed? Alrighty, so see. we're going to go ahead and mix all of these until they're all shook up and we'll see you again here in just a couple minutes. Alright, be back. Alrighty, we are here and we are progressing along to our next step of the tie-dye. Now, I discovered that when you're mixing these, go ahead and put on those lovely gloves because now I have orange hands. So, don't want colored hands. Put on the gloves when mixing. Okay, so Caitlin, what's the next step? All right, so next we're gonna get a fill this cup up with the water. Warm, cold, doesn't matter. Okay. So, probably the easiest part of this job. And then what? All right, and then you're gonna take your mask and you're gonna put it in the water. And we do this before putting rubber bands on. Yes. Okay. You wanna get it nice and soaking wet. And then afterwards, you wanna squeeze all the water out. Don't want any excess water in there. Alright. Alrighty, I'll I'll do mine. Now, if you were doing t-shirts, do you will it work in the same? Same process. Okay. T-shirts, you do the same thing. So no wonder people like tie-dye. You can tie-dye anything. Yes. Alrighty, so All right. we have squeezed them out. Now what? Okay, so you're gonna lay down on the table. Okay. All right. Make sure you have your rubber bands. Okay. And then you're gonna scrunch it together. No matter. You can do it bunched up like this. Mm -hmm. And then I like to always roll mine after bunching it because that way it gets more color in there. Okay. You make like a snail shape or a circle. So depending on how you bunch it, do you get different designs? Yes. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my rubber bands. Mm -hmm. Where it's a mask, you can wrap it around twice. And I'm going to do mine in sections. Okay? So I'm going to do mine in four different sections. More, You can cut it off into even more sections if you want to. And what's the purpose of the rubber bands? The rubber bands are going to hold it together while you're tie-dyeing it. Alright? Okay. And then you're going to set whatever section you did, you're going to do a color in that area. Okay. Now, can I put colors on everything? You can put colors on everything. You can put multiple colors in one section, but I'm going to do mine in the individual sections. I'm kind of folding mine, and we'll see what we get. Because <laughs> I always like to just experiment. So when we do the tie-dye, is it good to have a little bucket? Yes. Or do it outside. Most people do it outside because it can make a mess. I have no idea what I'm going to do. So this should be really fun. Alright. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start squeezing in my colors. I'm going to do blue. Blue's a pretty color. Reminds me of the winter time. All right. And yeah. then in my first section, I'm going to do it blue. And I notice you're not wearing gloves, Caitlin. Nope, I don't care. I like, I don't mind the colors. All right, that's going to be my first section. All right. Then we're going to do green. Trying not fling off the tie-eye. There we go. We're going to do it in the next section. And it's okay if the blue's over or the green goes over into the other section. Now, how much do you saturate your colors? It how looks like they're putting on white. Enough bit. until you don't see white. Enough until you don't see white. Right. Can you repeat the process? You can. Now I'm going to do some yellow. And now we see why you needed the tub. Yes. And then red. And you want to make sure you get it on both sides good and well. All right. Now and will it suck through the folded material yep. and all? Okay. Where you fold it at, that's going to be white most of the time. Okay. All righty. So I'm going to try mine. And I have a lot of sections apparently. You put the caps on all of them, didn't you? Is there any certain way? Should you work from like dark to lightest? Or? It doesn't matter. It's up to you. All right. So we're going to see how these things turn out. And I'm apparently not as versed in this as Caitlin is. I'm not sure which of this is messier for her eye. I am your daughter, so... And now I don't know which colors I used. During Christmas colors. I I'm not sure. Now does it seep in between the rubber band and it stuff does. like that too? So basically I just want to hide all this white. Yes. I can do that. And now I see where you get the thing wet is how it's able to spread out. Yes. And just kind of naturally diffuses in there. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know what should my last color be. I'll go with green. Alrighty. And then do we rinse it? Now we're going to, you want to let it sit for a bit. Okay. How long? A day? Overnight. Okay. So we're going to let these things sit overnight. There's our lovely montage and when we come back tomorrow we'll go from there and see how it looks okay all right see you tomorrow okay so this is the second day we have let our tie-dye mask sit and now we are going to unravel all of this rubber band mess and see what we've got now once you unravel these oh look how pretty that cool so when you unravel them you will then take and you're going to rinse them out in cold water cold water only and then you can put these if you want to you can either let them air dry or you can throw them in the dryer and you let them you know tumble dry i wouldn't advise putting them in with any other clothes and um drying them will allow the um the ink to set up in the fabric itself and make it permanent. Do not, do not wash them. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of show you on this one. And you'll see the colors kind of bleed out into the sink. See, and that's normal. That's just your excess colors. Um, you can squeeze them. I know when I've done bigger things like shirts and stuff like that, but it's soaked into that fabric. See, I'm, I'm rubbing it. It's not making that orange move anywhere. So you just kind of rinse it until the water runs clear. And the first time you do go to wash these things, I would not advise washing it with um, white clothes because that, that coloring will fade just a little bit onto your other fabric. But after that first washing, they're good to go. So, And then once it's good and dry... And this will probably, because I don't have a dryer here at the library, we're probably going to let ours air dry. 
Um, once it's completely dry, that's when you can go ahead and you can decorate. Um, you can, we, we have puffy paint or fabric paint here um, that you can write on there. You could draw a peace sign. You could write a nice little phrase on there. You know, um, smile, be happy, anything up, upbeat because the whole point of this is National Peace Day. So we wanna be able to say something um, peaceful and uplifting and encouraging and happy and yet by wearing your mask you don't have to say a single word it's all right there all righty so we'll show you a picture of our finished products um like i said we gotta let them all dry rinse all these and uh, we'll show you what we come up with okay and by all means if you do this craft please 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 share your creations with us too okay